What we got here is the, uh, the latest in direct metal 3D printing, if you will. We call it additive manufacturing now, it's the official term. But um, what it does, it takes fine layers of metal powder and welds those together with a laser beam to fuse a three-dimensional object right from a computer file. So it's like artistic welding, if you will. Selective laser melting is the official term on the patent, so that kind of describes what's going on. It, you're selectively melting the powder and wherever the laser touches it turns to solid and the rest of it stays powder that you dump out afterwards. Right now we're trying to qualify this to build rocket motor parts. But um, basically what the additive manufacturing gives you is the ability to build very complex shapes that couldn't be built other ways or just to simplify building complex shapes because it really doesn't care the geometry. Really the deciding factor in whether the machine can do it or not is the size of the part. We wanted to have the best technology out there because we are shooting to put these into human rated rocket systems. When we build parts, we go through a lot of tests, a lot of inspection. We do a lot of engineering builds first to make sure we have the process wrung out. There's always weld problems that you have to deal with. Uh, and there's going to be problems with this that we'll have, to, we'll have to work out too, but this has the potential to eliminate a lot of those problems and it has the potential to reduce the cost by as much as half in some cases on, on a lot of parts. Everybody was really excited and now it's really time to uh, start the real work, which is making parts and building the, you know, the material properties, getting the test done. It's, it's an exciting time for the next few years.